up gang 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 welcome back to the channel y'all already know so welcome back to another banger video so today we about to do a little cook with us cook with me feel me so we about to make some fried chicken all right i already cleaned these chickens right here i got one chicken left right here i'm gonna show y'all how i clean that because i already did those or whatever I got the seasonings, and we about to make fried chicken, mashed potatoes, green beans on the side, and no cap. I ain't gonna lie, I got some chicken feet over here for the side, cause I like chicken feet. Chicken feet is popping. All right, so we're going to get straight into the video. But before we do, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, do all that good shit, and that's it, y'all. Let's get started with the video. Let's eat good, y'all heard? y'all so i just finished washing the chicken and if y'all seen right here on the ones that was already washed that was just a little bit of black pepper over there so now that the chicken is all washed and stuff i'm about to season it usually before i season the chicken i will use a paper towel to like dry it off because when you dry the chicken off the seasoning will stick better to it right but due to the fact that I don't have any paper towels at the moment, unfortunately, don't ask me why I don't got paper towels when I'm cooking because I don't bitch. I because I got some, I got some tissue, guys. But I'm not gonna use that for the chicken. That, right now, I'm just gonna use these seasonings right here. Come. On. So I'm gonna be using some sazon. I'm gonna be using some chicken bouillon seasoning. This is the same thing as like the cubes, but it's just like already crushed down and stuff basically. Then I'm gonna be using some garlic powder. I'm gonna use some adobo. I'm gonna use some parsley flakes. Uh, you don't gotta give me. <laughs> and of course, I'm gonna use some salt because salt brings out the flavor. And, and then we're also gonna use some black pepper, all right? We're using some packs right now, y'all. That's what we got. That's what we finna use. All right? So, right now, I'm just gonna season the chicken and I'm gonna get back to y'all after I season it up. Gang, gang. All right, y'all, so I already seasoned the chicken right here, as you can see. So I seasoned the chicken. And, y'all, when y'all season your chicken, like, make sure y'all get, like, inside of the skin the right here. You feel me? Like, in the back of the skin and stuff. Make sure you season right there because you want everything to taste good. Like, you don't just want the outside to taste good, all right? So now I'm just putting it inside the flour before I fry it. And, yeah, so I'm going to just get all of these floured up and... In the meantime, while these are flowering up, I'm going to set this heat on like medium heat. My hands are kind of messy, y'all. Don't try this at home. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna set, I'm gonna put this on like medium heat at like five. I'm gonna let that start. I'm gonna let that start getting a little warmed up. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna continue to get these all flowered up. And I'll see y'all when it's time to finish the rest of the meal. All right, y'all. So I just finished seasoning the chicken, washing the chicken, seasoning the chicken, and putting it in flour. And I just wanted to let y'all know real quick. If y'all want y'all chicken to be even more seasoned than the season that I put, as y'all see, I OD'd on my seasoning because why not? But if y'all want it to have even more flavor, then what y'all can do is also season your flour. Like, the same seasonings that you put on the actual chicken, you can also put into your flour, and it'll help bring out the flavor more all right i didn't do that but y'all could do that all right so like i told y'all before i had this um getting hot on medium heat 
So I'm going to start getting these ready. And the mashed potatoes that we're using today are these boxed potatoes right here. So it's not going to really take that long for these. These take like 5-10 minutes. And then these are, we're going to be using some canned green beans. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the chicken first because that's what's going to take the longest. So just to make sure this is a little hot. Here's a little trick for y'all. You can just take a little bit of flour and you can put it like this, all right? It's not fizzing up yet, so it's not ready, all right? So I'm gonna just turn up the heat and I'll see y'all when I start putting it back in because I'm gonna let it heat up a little more because you, you don't want your chicken to be all soggy inside the oil. I wanted to show y'all this little flour trick that I was talking about. So I got some flour right here, right? And you see that? See how it's like fizzing up in the oil? That's how you know your oil is hot enough to throw them bitches in you feel me so now i'm taking my chicken right here and i'm laying that baby in there see that boom baby we ain't sucking up no oil you heard them bitches frying straight away just like that just like that baby girl yes right now i got the chicken over here so right now I got the chicken over here frying up. So if y'all do like use big pieces like this, y'all should use like a bigger pan. I use like a pan that wasn't too big. So it's kind of like, you know, but um, for the chicken, you should like let it sit for like four to five minutes on each side so that like, you know, like the flour and stuff doesn't like, you know, start coming off and stuff. While that's frying up, I'm about to start working on these mashed potatoes. So the first thing, I'm gonna use this pot right here because I'm gonna make a big amount to be honest with you guys I don't really do measurements for this I just put it in so let's do that I like to just fill up the pot with some water I like to just do it like this because I don't know I'm I don't really like the measurements and stuff so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put about this much water yeah alright so I'm gonna put about this much water and I'm gonna start boiling it so after I boil it, I'm gonna add some salt. I'm gonna add some salt and some butter. Well, not after, I'm gonna do that right now. So, like I told you guys, I don't really measure. So I'm just gonna pour enough salt that I think is enough. And I'm using a stick of butter and I'm just gonna put about this much of the butter in to start with, okay? And I'm just gonna let that water for the mashed potatoes start boiling. And while that's boiling, I'm going to flip my chicken. And like I told you guys, I'm doing these canned green beans. So these don't take any time at all. I just open the can, pop them in the pot, and heat them up. So I'm gonna flip my chicken, let this heat up, let the water boil, and then I'll show you guys how I make the rest of the mashed potatoes. All right, y'all, so I just put the green beans in the pot. I'm not gonna start them yet because like I said, they only took a couple minutes. But what I did put into the green beans was less, like a half a tablespoon, like a teaspoon of butter, and I put some seasoned salt. This is the seasoned salt I use. This is 99 cent Crasdale seasoned salt, bitch. And I put this into the green beans with a little bit of butter. And this is the chicken. This is what the chicken looked like. It's frying up and all of that. Like I said, if y'all have big pieces like this, please use a bigger pan, all right? Because I'm having a little bit of difficulties, but I knew better, you feel me? So it is what it is, you feel me? And right here, I'm just letting this water boil up, the butter melt, salt, all of that, and that right there is the mashed potatoes, y'all. And we almost done with this meal. I can't wait for y'all to see it. It's a bobby, it's a bobby. So the chicken is back here. Look how chicken look, y'all. So I just flipped it again or whatever. So that's still back there frying up, you know, still frying up. And the green beans are over here. I already showed y'all what I put inside the green beans. So I'm letting those cook up. Stir them up, you feel me? Like that, like, like that, sis. And right here is the, is the water for the mashed potatoes, all right? So I'm gonna show y'all how to do these, these box mashed potatoes easily. So after you get the water, the salt, and the butter to a boil, what I like to do next is, hold up, what I do next? <laughs> cold milk, cold milk, that's what I do next. All right. So I got some cold milk, all right? Y'all can use whatever type of milk y'all want. I like almond milk myself, what happened? I like almond milk myself, but it probably wouldn't taste the best with mashed potatoes, you feel me? So, 
So I just like to pour a little bit of milk, all right? And then I'm gonna take a fork, a fork, okay? And I'm gonna slowly stir as I mix the potatoes, okay? That's how you mix these, these box ones, all right? You gotta stir it as you go so that it don't get crazy thick, all right? So you just add a little bit at a time. Feel me? And then you just stir it up a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, y'all. Because you don't want it to get too thick. You know what I mean? And as you guys go, you can just add more um, milk, more butter, and um, also more back black pepper and more salt also, okay, as you guys go. That's basically it. As y'all see, this is everything. I'm going to finish these potatoes up. I got the green beans over here, the chicken, and... The potatoes, I'm getting, I'm gonna finish them right now. So I'll get back to y'all when everything is done and I'll show you guys the finished product. Game, game. All right, y'all. So that's the end of this video. Y'all see how that plate came out and all of that. So if y'all enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that good shit down in the comments, do all of that, alright? Let me know down in the comments if y'all want me to shuffle for something else, and yeah, that's it. So I'll catch y'all in the next video, game, game.